Everybody, welcome back. We're moving with Texas All Water Fishing today. I am going out with Captain Charles's on Captain Charles's boat with Laddie Patreon. She booked another trip, and you know what? She invited me out. So we're gonna be targeting some sheep heads. We're gonna be running over to the jetties, and uh, hopefully, you know, maybe catch a black drum or a red bull. You know, they've been running very, very thick lately. So we're getting all the gear together, getting a few rods together. Got some live shrimp. Uh, the winds are favorable today, and uh, hopefully they're going to stay that way for the rest of the day. But hey, thanks for watching. If you, if you want to book a trip with Captain Charles, I'll leave his information in the description section of the video. And uh, fingers crossed, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Typically, like, I like to fish. I prefer to fish on bottom for the sheep heads because they're down there around the rocks. Okay. The only problem is you get hung up a lot. Right, right. So, depends on where the boat is. So, if you get, like, really close to the rocks, like, you can almost just drop straight down uh -huh. and fish just straight down. When you get hung up is when you cast more towards the rocks. Uh -huh. But sometimes that's where the sheephead are. So, when you're playing, when you're, when you're on bottom, you're kind of playing Russian roulette a little bit. Gotcha. Um, so like you could even free line shrimp if the current isn't like really strong or throw a cork and that's kind of more for trout too. Okay. So you want to do is cast, yeah, cast towards the rocks. Okay. You can even like pretty much get on top of them. You kind of know how long your leader line is. So okay. kind of let you know how close you can really, really get on them. But yeah, that's where, you know, sheep had eat all the barnacles. So that's where they're going to be. They're going to be like on the rocks. Okay. But the rocks come out here under surface. So the key is that like if you are fishing on bottom is it have enough weight that it keeps you on bottom oh gotcha because like the current sometimes can take it and then you think you're on bottom but your 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 shrimp can be way over here and just be right above the surface so then you're not fishing for sheephead you know you're fishing for something else it looks dirty dirty on that side charles <laughs> get him, get him. Wow. And that happens yeah. every time. Is he coming? I don't know. Let me, let me, hold on. Okay. I don't want to tighten it too tight. Go ahead. Probably a big drum. Big ugly. Daddy's on a goobly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice big yeah. red. Oh hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. That's what we're here for. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave him in the water. Leave him in the water. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep your line tight. Okay. All right. Tight. Now swing it back to me. I'm going to go head first. Way to get that. Head first. Ooh, head, first. Get head first. Head first. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Oh, High five. Yeah. Oh, Oh, All right. Wow, he's here. Now flip the bell, let some of the line out. Okay. Get out of there. There we go. All right. No, look at that. It came out. It came oh. out. Cut mullet. Uh, Laddie with the bull red. This is 30, 37. Who's that? 37 and a quarter. 37 and a quarter. Yep. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's croaking. He's drumming. <laughs> boom, boom, Big boom, old boy. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Dang it! Look at this mess. Oh crap! I seen that coming. Get 
got waves coming from this side, swells coming from that side, swells coming from this side. They're over here, buddy. Perfect storm you on the on the on the uh over there. I keep getting tore up. Nope. Oh. Oh. Nope, bottom. Dang right it. Up, right up against that wall they're getting it. There we go, got you. Cheapy, little guy. Oh, maybe not. He about 15, maybe 16. I felt bump, bump. Wait for that third ball. He might be a black drum. Yeah, he's a black drum. Oh, red, little red. There we go, on dead shrimp. Like you like that, dead shrimp. That's my dead shrimp method for reds. I was about to put it uh, dead shrimp method for red. Drop dead red. Well, it's about, how, how do you catch an 18 inch red? Well, I, well, because I have a real small frying pan, so the flakes have to be small for me. Hey, that's pretty good, Charles. Just a little over 18. Charles called it. 18 incher. Mwah! Third long. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. There we go. Another another red. Oh. Another red. Oh, 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 a little bigger. That's the only difference. Dead shrimp. Dead shrimp. Oh, noble sheep head. That's a nice one. Hey, baby, baby! It's because you got to make yourself feel nauseous. A freaking sheep head with a dead shrimp. That's how I roll, bro. <laughs> I thought I told you. Oh, he's flossing. Oh, yeah. 16, 15 and a half. Double check. 15 and a half. Bay snapper. These are great on the half shell. You there? Red, that one's 20. Maybe not. <laughs> what the? Let me see the pliers. <laughs> those are. That's awesome. You got to trademark those. Where, where's he at? 19 and a quarter. I told you it was 19 and one quarter. Hold him up, April. You got to kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Look, see, he wants to be kissed. Look. Mwah. Kiss him. He's a pretty boy fish. Oh, sorry. Kiss him. Either kiss him or lick the blood on your fingers. Get him Charles on. Oh, sheep it. Good old red face. Yeah. Nice. That's a good one. Just set my hook. There we go. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Feels like a good sheep head. It might not be, but it kind of feels like it. It's hard to tell with this dang current. He darting left and right. Oh, yeah, that's a nice sheep head. That's a real nice sheep head. A neck. 
Annette! Annette! Ah! Annette! Yeah, it's a big one. I like big, she big sheeps and I cannot lie. Oh, and he came off. Thank you, sir. Dang it! That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Hey, that's a pretty one. See where you at? Uh. Uh. Nineteen, baby. You guys all beat up on the rocks. Fish on. Keep drilling. Drilling. Keep, keep doing it. Mm-hmm. If he wants to run, know. let him run. The drag's tight, but should I loosen it? Yeah, if he wants to run, let him run. Yeah, let him run. Let him run a little bit. Yeah, you don't want it, you don't want the drag too tight. You want to be able to pull it out a little bit with your hand. Leave let the yeah, leave the line tight. Don't leave the don't don't slack up. Wanted to drag, pull drag just a little because you want to have that be able to Man, have that give, yeah. Because he's going up current too, so he feels a lot bigger. Do sheep heads do this? Mm -hmm. Yep, oh, you feel it darting back and forth, back and forth. It's a sheep head. Oh, that's a big God. red. It's that's a, a big red. Oh my gosh! Here, Charles, put it on this oh side. Goodness, put it on this side. Hey, yeah, let yeah, him, let yeah. Him let him run. Yep. Yeah, yeah let, let him run. run. You want to let him run? Cause you want to. You want to be able to. You want the drag to pull. You don't want your line to break. Yeah. Okay. I think that's what happened last couple of times. Your line <laughs> broke on you. So, <laughs> just keep your line tight. That's the only okay. thing you want to do. Okay. Line tight. Yep. Okay. Just keep yeah, your line tight. Let him run and let him get tired. There you go. You don't want to break your line. Woo, He's already hooked. Oh He's God, already hooked. So all you gotta do is keep him on tight. Yeah. There you oh, go. Just let him play. Just all right. Play. All right. Oh, oh Ooh, my God! Nice. There you go. That's nice. Good job. Man, this is our second red today. Thirty-seven and a half. Right. Oh, when he runs, it's kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Oh, please don't break, Lord. Please don't break. <laughs> I know. Hopefully oh we tied a good knot this time. <laughs> Damn, they can get close, huh? Oh my gosh, he's still... That's yeah, a little rough out here. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you see them waves. Alright, there you go. You can bring him up. Bring him up. There you go. He's barely up. So keep rolling. Yes, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Leave the line tight. You got it. Bring one more circle. One more circle. Right to me. Ooh. Woo! There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. High five. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. oh my gosh. The other one was. The other one was 37. 37. This is. And a half. This one is. You got his nose there. Got his nose. He's there. 33 and a half, 33 oh, and a quarter. Man. Wow, that's too awesome. Big today. You got the sea flea on you. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a big one. Look at that big old girth on his big old jawline. Well, guys, that is going to do it. You know, I had, I had fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm wearing this patch and uh, I'm still getting seasick, although it was a little funky because we were kind of fishing, like kind of like in a washing machine. We had waves coming from one way and waves coming from, and a swell coming from the other way and the tide going out one way. So, but it was a little kind of funky, but I have no idea what's going on with me. This is like, like the third or fourth time I've been, I've been seasick and, and it's crazy. You know, I mean, it really, it really is the emotion sickness and being out there, but you know, I'm never going to make anybody go home early. I'm just going to suck it up. And uh, 
we had a good time. We had a really good time. Thank you, Laddie, for having me out with you. You know, she did charter this boat through Captain Charles. I'll leave his information in the description section of this video. So if you want to contact him and put him and, and get on his boat, I'll leave his information. He also does kayak. Uh, if you have a kayak and you're new to kayak fishing, he also does kayak trips. Uh, he'll live and do weight fishing trips. The bite just wasn't what I expected. The water clarity was very dirty and very sandy. And a lot of times the fish will feed off sight. And, uh, uh, you know, you get that with trout a lot. And you'll get that with sheep a lot. They'll feed off sight. And uh, we just we just couldn't really, really get into them. I think we caught a boat limit of, of sheephead. But, and, and, and a few reds. And, and Laddie got her personal best red. So, it was, it's all good fun. You know, I'm not disappointed at all on the trip. So, uh, I know a lot of times I say that. That, um, you know, people get it wrong. That, you know, that when I say it's slow. But, um it was good and then it kind of slowed up in the middle of the day but i just think if we would have had uh, good water clarity then it probably would have been you know more on fire and gotten had the results that um that that you've been getting reports on or that i've been getting reports on it's just a funky day today was just a funky day um, but thanks for watching guys and i do appreciate each and every one of you don't forget i have a mitt in my mouth because i'm talking weird but uh, yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe share and until next time Hopefully catch me. Hook it up.